Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial video. Today I will be making an audio visualizer on Scratch. And this is what we will be making by the end of this video. So as you can see, it moves with my voice. And yeah, it has kind of a cool effect. And let's just get right into coding. So we'll just start with an empty project and go to this button here and then add the pen extension. When you get the pen extension, you get a load of extra blocks. The first thing you want to do is erase all and then set pen color to. We're well, just going to set our pen color to something like this blue. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then, and first we're going to erase all. Then we're going to set our pen size to 10. And yeah, then go to events and say when clicked. And when you click the green flag now, nothing happens yet. Okay, now make a new block and call it render sound visualizer or render audio visualizer. And make it run without screen refresh. Okay. Now, under here, go to motion, go to x minus 250, and then y, 0. You can move these around however you want. Then, you're going to erase all. And then, make a new variable and call it index. And you can delete my variable. Now we're going to set our index to 1. And then we're going to repeat 23 times. This is the amount of bars we will have on screen. And you can of course change this. Then we're going to go to x. x position plus 20. So like that. And then go to operators. Plus 20 and then we're going to go to y0 so every time this loops the x position is going to be different and yeah then we are going to say pen down and then it's going to change our y by let's just say 10 right now and then pen up and change our index by 1. Okay, so now if we run this and put the render audio visualizer here, it's going to look something like this, but it doesn't move with my sound yet, so we have to code that now. First, we're going to make a new list and call it loudness list and it is going to be for all sprites take out the render audio visualizer and instead of it put delete all of loudness list then you're going to repeat 23 times just like the amount of our bars add placeholder so add placeholder to that loudness list. So let's just run it right now. We have 23 placeholders. And yeah. So now we're going to say make a new variable and call it counter. Just set our counter to 1. And get out the forever loop. So forever, now go to sensing, and this is what will make us detect our loudness, the loudness block. So we are going to insert, we're going to insert loudness at counter of loudness list. And 
and after this we're going to change counter by one so if we click it right now you can see the length is 20,000 that's because the counter is going on forever but you can see it doesn't say placeholder anymore okay after we change our counter by one we are going to say if our counter so if our counter equals I'm just going to say 512, but you can change that if you want. First, you're going to set our counter to 1 again. And then, you are going to repeat this 512 times. Minus 23 times. So these 23 are going to be the last 23 times. We are going to delete counter of loudness list. So and because our counter is 1, it's going to delete 1 of loudness list for, for 512 minus 23 times. And after we are done with this, we are going to set our counter to 24. So it can resume where we were before. And then we are going to render our audio visualizer. Okay, so now back to this render audio visualizer. We should code this change Y by. But before we do that, as you can see, these are all of our loudnesses. And when we get to 512, which we are going to get to in a second, it's going to delete. So, let's just get there. And yeah, it started over. Okay, so now here in change Y by 10, we are actually going to say change Y by get out the times block. We're going to say item counter minus index. So get out both of our variables and then say counter minus index of loudness list. And here, get out a divided block. And I'm just going to say one divided by three. You can change this number and the bars will go up higher. Okay, so let me just test it out now. And yeah, look, it works. So I'm just going to explain what I did here. So our counter is going to change every time. And yeah, and then our index is also changing. So we're going to do the changing counter minus the changing index. And that item of the loudness list, we're going to get that out. So like, imagine we need this 34. It's going to take that and change our Y by that much amount. And the reason we have so many of these dots on screen is because it's going to repeat 23 times, go to X, X position plus 20. So whatever our, our X position is, plus 20. And yeah, let's just test it out one final time now. And you can hide all of these. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it works. And yeah, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Bye!